In this video, you will learn how to deliver an online lecture using Google Meet. The first thing you're going to want to do is to open a new browser and type meet.google.com. Then click on the Join or Start a Meeting button. If you like, you can add a meeting code or a nickname here. Otherwise, you can just leave it blank. Then click Continue. If you click on Join Now, your meeting has started. You will now see the meeting link, which you can share with your students. If you copy and paste this link into Blackboard, they'll now have access to it. So I'm going to control C to copy the link and then I'm going to open up my Blackboard course. So here I am in my Blackboard course and I need to just pick a place where I would like to post this link. I can put it into my content page or if I like I can just create a new content area so that the link is very accessible. So I'll click on content area and I'll give this a name. You can now check this checkbox to make this content area visible to students. Click on Submit and you will see the new content item at the bottom. Okay, we can move it around and put it wherever we like. I'm going to put it right here so that it's more visible. When we click on online lectures, we now see a blank page. So I'll now have to add the web link. So I'll go to build content, then web link. In the name, this is what's going to be visible to students, so I'll just write online lectures link. In the URL, I'm now going to paste the URL that I got from Google Meet. In the description, you can add whatever you like. I'm going to just let students know that they can use this link for each lecture. You can select your date and time restrictions if you like, but I'm going to leave these open so that the link is always available. Submit, and now we have an online lectures link. When it's time for you to begin your lecture, you can simply click the online lectures link. As long as you're logged in with your OntarioTechU.net account, you'll automatically be taken to this screen, where you can just click on the Join Now button. Here you'll see a list of all the students that are in your class already. And as they start to attend the class, you'll start to see this number increase. And you'll start to see a list of these people in the class down in this area here. You can let your students know whether you'd like them to turn on or off their microphones as well as their cameras. If there are many students in your class, you probably would want them to turn off their cameras so that it won't slow things down. I like to ask students to turn on their microphones if they'd like to speak during the class. You'll see here that there's a chat feature in Google Meet. If you click on it, you'll see chats that are coming back and forth from students and from yourself within the class. I can send a chat message to everyone that's here. I often ask people whether or not they can hear me at the very beginning and ask them to try out their mics so I know whether I can hear them as well. Another nice feature of Google Meet is that you can record your lectures. Clicking on these three vertical dots in the bottom right corner, I can see the option to record the meeting. So if I click on record meeting, it reminds me to ask my students for consent before I start recording. When I click on Accept, I'll see a recording button appear near the top left corner of the screen. Once it's turned red, you know that the recording has begun. Another nice feature of Google Meet is the ability to live caption. You can turn on captions by clicking on this button here. Now everything that you say will be captioned so that your students will visually be able to see what you are saying. You can always turn off captions by clicking on the button again. If you would like to share your screen with your student, 
click on the Present Now button here near the bottom right corner of the screen. You can select whether you'd like to present your entire screen or just a window. I'm going to select your entire screen. Now click on the image of the screen and then click Share. A notification appears at the bottom of the screen indicating that meet.google.com is sharing your screen so your students can see everything that you're seeing right now. I would then go into my lecture notes and then proceed with my lecture. Anything that is on your screen the students will see including any annotations that you wish to make. If you're using PowerPoint, you can also present your PowerPoint slides. Okay, so whatever is on your screen, your students will be able to see. When you're finished your presentation, you can then go back to Google Meet and stop presenting. If your lecture is completely finished, you can also click on the three vertical dots and then stop recording. A notification appears letting you know that the recording will be saved in your own Google Drive. Click Stop Recording to confirm that you would like to stop. And in approximately 10 minutes or so, you'll get an email notification with the link to your recording. Once you have the link, you can then share it with your students in Blackboard. Now you're ready to create your new online lectures. Thanks for watching.